Enzyme specificity and active site theory. When you start to do the exam questions on enzymes, you'll frequently encounter these two topics and students find it tricky. So as you start to encounter exam questions and get ready for your exam, ask yourself, what do I include in the answer? How do I start it? How do I structure it? And have I answered the actual question? Because very often students don't. They just state everything they know and they don't answer the question. The only way to deal with this is to practice answering questions. So revise early when you've no stress. Practice making relevant bullet points, using relevant diagrams and explain things very simply in very straightforward English. So what are the key points connected to enzyme specificity and active site theory? So you have your study cards, your notebook, and you're going to write a few notes just to start you off, just to brush up on enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They are protein in nature. So enzymes are proteins and they are folded into globular shapes, specific three dimensional globular shapes. Enzymes alter the speed of biochemical reactions and they do this by reducing the activation energy of that reaction. Enzymes are unchanged at the end of the reaction. Students often don't get that. Enzymes are unchanged at the end of the reaction. When we're discussing how enzymes work in our class, we use an equation and we get the equation by looking at this diagram and summarising it. What's happening in each step of the diagram? Explain it as you go along and that gives you the equation. So let's begin by explaining what is meant by enzyme specificity. This means that an enzyme catalyzes one reaction or one type of reaction. So it's very particular, very specific. It's easy to understand and appreciate enzyme specificity when you examine the diagram. You can see that the enzyme and the substrate fit together in a very particular way. They have complementary shapes. So we'll explain that in more detail. But the key to it is to write down this equation and to draw that diagram. So use the equation to structure your answer. It all begins with an enzyme and a complementary substrate. They bind together to form an enzyme substrate complex. The reaction proceeds and you end up with your enzyme and your product or products. So what are the key points we should write down when we're talking about enzyme specificity and active site theory? The first point is that every enzyme has a uniquely shaped depression called the active site on its surface. It has a very unique shape. It's particular to that enzyme. Only the substrate molecule with a complementary shape to the active site combined. And this is why enzymes are specific. This explains enzyme specificity. So you can see in the diagram there the enzyme with the uniquely shaped active site and its complementary shaped substrate. When the substrate fits into the active site of the enzyme, the active site alters slightly to better fit around that complementary substrate. This is known as the induced fit model. When this takes place, the enzyme substrate complex is formed. Ideal conditions now exist and the reaction takes place. In the end, you're left with your product or products and the enzyme unchanged by the reaction. So by using the diagram and the equation, it's very easy to come up with five points that you could use in an exam question. So make things easy for yourself. Use diagrams as prompts and enhance those points by using exam papers. When you're writing your study notes, train yourself to write in simple, succinct facts. This means that you really know the content because you can summarise it and you're more than likely going to use those notes again. When you're answering the exam questions, always answer in bullet points, statements of fact and answer the question. Think to yourself, am I asking what they want? So enzymes is an enormous topic. It's always on the Leaving Cert course and it's a topic that I would recommend you revise before you go into sixth year. It will only help you. And remember that every time you read a textbook, it can only benefit you. So please read.